Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a really cute little tree, Christmas tree box. You can put a little gift in here. It's so sweet. It took me forever, y'all. I've been looking for a rectangle box that I could make, and I couldn't find any on the internet that would just open like this. So I finally figured out a way to do it, and I'm going to share the way that I do it. So this is just one that opens this way. I'm doing something a little different. This one I didn't make tall enough, so we're going to make this one taller because I wanted to be able to fit a lot of goodies in here, like some Lynn Truffles or Hershey's Kisses, anything like that. But isn't it cute? It's a little Christmas tree. And I love these branches, y'all. I use these in another project, and they're just so pretty. And it is from our Magical Meadows dies, but yeah, I love this one. It's so sweet. This would be a really cute table setting as well. I did a table setting in my bonus video on Thursday, and it was for Thanksgiving. But isn't it cute? I love this one. I hope you really enjoy it. All right, so what we're going to need for this, I'm using shaded spruce, but you can use any shade of green that you want. We have so many in the Stampin' Up! Um, colors. We have Garden Green. Uh, you can use Pretty Peacock. There's so many. Even the other lighter ones, like Lemon Lime Twist, any of those would work, but I love this color for Christmas. So you're going to need two pieces here that are 11 by 2.5, and one you need 11 and a quarter by two and a half. So you do need a 12 by 12. It's the only way, y'all, that I could figure out how to do this. So, and to make it this size. If you're new to my channel, first, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up and share if you like the video because all those things really help my channel. And thank you so much for that in advance and for all of you who have been doing that. Alright, so then you're going to need some three-quarter inch strips. I already used my dies to cut these little out. These are from the basic border dies. Look how pretty this is. And it looks so pretty on the tree. So this video may be a little bit longer because we do have quite a bit to do, but I may speed through some of it. So this is the piece that I used right here. It's three-quarter inches, and you're going to use your basic border die. And it is this one right here. And you're just going to line it up to the very top edge. And then I use some mint tape to hold it down. So these tips just touch the top and then run it through and you'll have your pieces ready. I ran this many through two and a half because I'm not sure exactly how much it's going to take to, um, to fill up the tree. But I did cut shorter pieces before, and I think this way is a lot easier. So if I have to cut out more, I got space to cut out more. All right, and then you're going to need a piece of real red. These are for the little berries that we're putting on there. Um, I'm also using two different colors, green, garden green, and granny apple green, and we're cutting our foliage out of that. So I've got those ready to go. Run through the cut and emboss, and then... I actually already cut out some stars using our gold foil. They're still in here. I'll take those out when we get ready for them. And these, this is for the little berries, which is why you need the real red. And then I cut out this. And that these are for our, from our nested essential dies. And this is for our joy that we're putting on here. I love making these trees, and I have been looking all over, I don't know, for a couple of years for a triangle box that fit into each other, and I could not find a template or anything for it that I could actually make and use. So I hope you really like this box. All right, I'm going to tell you all that I'm using for this. I'm using quite a bit because I just like grabbing all anything that I can use. So this is the basic border dies. That's the one that we're cutting for the tree. And then we are using the Brightest Glow. I've been using this a ton, y'all, because it's got so many greetings on it. It's perfect. So we're using the Joy from this one. I love that Joy. And then I'm actually just using the Magical Meadows dies, and it comes in a bundle with this one. 
but I'm not stamping anything from this. And then we are using again um, the Nested Essentials and this is the Give It A Whirl dies. And this is just for the stars. So if you have a star punch or if you have a star from another die set, just use that. I'm using all three stars on this one, but you can just use a punch for it. All right, so let's go ahead and let's stamp. Let's get our pieces all ready to go through the cut and emboss, and we are going to then put the box together. The box goes together pretty easily, and in fact, I forgot to tell you about these two pieces. These are two and five eighths by four. So if you are new, I put an inspiration sheet on my blog every week that I do a project and it has all the measurements in there. So don't worry about copying them down because you can download it and, and uh, print them or whatever you want to do. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and stamp. And I'm going to grab my little basic white piece that I already cut out. And we're going to stamp the joy here. I always love the joy when it's written out. Isn't that pretty? I love that. All right, we're going to set that one aside. And I'm going to get my dies here. And we are going to run two of these dies right here. Two of this one. This one's more like a pine branch and then this one is the one that has the little berries on it so we're going to just run one of those and two of those and then I'm also going to run the little berries through these things are so tiny y'all if you want to use your um, pearl effects on it like this comes in a three pack with the black white and red you can use these enamel effects for the same thing but you have to do that on the very last but these are so pretty, I'm using these. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna run these all through the cut and emboss and I'll be right back with them. Okay, so here is the one that has the berries on it. And then we have two that are like the pine. So I also cut out the little berries, but I'm leaving them on this tray because they stick to it like that. And it's easier for me to pick it up with my take your pick tool and place them on the berries. <laughs> all right, so we have those all ready. And I'm going to grab my stars real quick so we can get those ready as well. So the big one is for on top of the tree, and then I'm using these other two as well. So they're all out of the gold our gold foil paper. All right, so everything right there is ready. I'm going to scoot these all out of the way here. And we are going to go ahead and do our box here. Okay, we're going to score these. And you are going to score the 11 and a quarter inside. And you are going to score this at one half. Three and one eighth, and seven and one eighth. That's it. And then on this one, you're going to score it at one half, four and a half, and eight and a half. And that's it on that one. Now we do have to mark these two other pieces. And what you're going to do is you're going to use a ruler. And you are going to mark the top part, the very top, at one and three eighths. And that's just about the center. It's not perfect, but this works out. So again, do it at one and three eighths. Just mark a little dot right there. And then if you want to draw from here to the corner, you can, but I'm going to use my trimmer and I'm going to show you how I cut these. So what you're going to do is put that little mark on the in the channel right here and the little corner right here. So we are cutting this out as a triangle. So you're just going to cut it down and you're going to do the same thing that point to this little point right here and it stays right in that channel. Oops, almost messed that up. So both of these points have to be in the channel. 
and you're just gonna and so you're gonna get this triangle we're gonna do the other one exactly the same way and I'll explain it again so you can see that so where we marked it right there and that needs to be right in the channel and then this little point right here I'm gonna cut that and then turn it and do that again put that in the channel and that one as well and there you go so we have our two triangles okay sorry y'all my camera just stopped I hope you got both of these um, okay so that is ready to go and I forgot one thing and that is to score the long side of this one we need to score them both at one half inch so I need to grab my scoring tool here and you're just gonna do the long side at one half inch that's very important <laughs> and I almost forgot that till I looked over and I was like I didn't score the long side on there all these like I said the measurements will be in my inspiration sheet okay so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut this little corner off right here that's gonna be our glue tab this little half inch side then you're gonna cut into these and make a pretty good V out of these and I'll show you why in just a minute I'm gonna do the same on this one on that half inch side you're gonna cut that little corner off and I'm gonna cut that in cut that in and then we're gonna do the same on this and I'll probably do a little bit more trimming when we get to that point We'll, we'll see. All right, now we're ready to put these together. Use your bone folder to sharpen all these because you know it's important when you're making a box. All right, we're gonna put these together. I'm gonna use my Stampin' Seal Plus here on the little glue tab. And we are gonna line this up. So you can see our little tree starting to form. These are going to be tucked in here just like that and if anything overhangs here you can cut like that off just like that. It's not important you're not going to see this part but what I like to do is I like to use some glue dots and I will put these underneath these little points here like that one there just to hold these down whoops until we get the other part on here so just use the glue dots underneath those areas just the little corners and you'll see it will it's just a little tip that's going to help I like to keep these longer ones tucked under so we got that one now we're going to do the exact same thing with this one they are different sizes so that one will fit into the other so we're going to line this up and again if anything's hanging over i'll just trim that up put some glue dots under these corners And if you want to be sure, just stick your finger in there and make sure that they're stuck down. So there's our other piece. Now you know what we're going to do with these triangles. They are going to fit on here like this. And you, you're going to have to trim these up. Sometimes they don't come out exactly perfect. I'm going to use wet glue to put these on. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to put wet glue all on this part. This makes it so easy, y'all. Line that up. Whoops. Just try to center it on there. And then I'm going to do the other one as well. And then we're going to just do some trimming if you need to do trimming. Sometimes the first couple I did, I did two of them already. I didn't have to um, trim 
the first one. But this, the second one I did, so that's why I'm telling you. When you trim these, you may trim it a little bit off. All right, so if you see anything, and you don't even have to trim it off, I just trim like this little top part off. Like this one's just about perfect. This one, it's a little bit long, so I'm going to trim around it. And actually, you're not even going to see, the bottom one's going to be on the bottom, so you're not even going to see that one. And then, like, I don't like it hanging here, so I'm just going to trim that along the side here just to make it look a little bit neater and that's it all right so now these will fit into each other you may have to squeeze this little top part right here so it fits in but because i wanted it to fit really tightly and then there's your box isn't it cute when I see this, I think a piece of Swiss cheese, too, would be so cute with a little mouse on it or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my, my head brain does not stop. Okay, we need to put these on next. And this is the part I'll probably skip through a little bit. You're going to want to make sure the first tips just meet the end, because if you want these to stand up like this, like at your dinner table, um you can always just stand them. If you're not, you want to make these like as an ornament or something, you can hang it lower. It's all up to you. But I'm going to keep these shorter. So we're going to start by putting these on here. Oh, I shouldn't have put so much on that bottom part. And then what you're going to do is you're going to keep layering these. And what I do is I stagger these. So what you're going to do is stagger the points like that. Oops, make sure you got the right side because this, oh, that, is, that was the right side. Okay. And I'll show you this close up here in just a second. And then you're just going to keep trimming. This is the fun part, y'all. I love doing this part. Okay, can you see how I staggered these? Like the points are in between these areas right here. I'm going to do the same thing again. Once we get this done, I'm going to show you, I'll tell you about how many of these that you need to do for this. Because you can see I'm cutting off some as I go. But as you get smaller, you don't need as many. And these again, I'm going to stagger. So that was one strip that I made. So let's work on this next one. And just keep going up. Y'all, this is something that would be so cute for like a teacher or one of your family members or like I said a table setting they'd be so cute they do take a little bit more time but it's so worth it they're so pretty all right and then we're gonna go keep going all the way up Okay, y'all, I got them all on here, and it took exactly just about that those two and a half strips that I cut there. So that's about what you're going to need. Now I'm going to just trim. You can go do this from the back side, too, if there's anything that you want to cut off here. But look at how cute that is. I love this die for this, because look at how pretty that is. All right. That's that. Now what we're going to do is bring in our little foliage here. And I am going to cut these a little bit smaller. We're going to use some here. Okay. 
and here. I'm going to grab my joy here in a minute so that we can place them where we think I think they're going to go. And then we're going to just glue these so you can put it on here. I did it on here before. So I want some here. You're not going to see this, y'all, underneath. So. further. Just put them where you like them. And then this one we're cutting apart and we're going to use these different sections here. So I'm going to put one down here. I think I need to cut that a little shorter. Put one down here. And I like the wet glue because if I decide <laughs> to uh, move them a little bit it won't be as hard but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to put this one down here and then this one I think I'm going to put right up at the top right there. I love the berries. The berries add so much to this and we're going to put those on after we get this on here. I think that's good. We're going to use dimensionals for this. So I'm going to use two dimensionals there and I'm going to grab my little tray my plate here with the little berries and we are going to put the berries on using my take your pick tool because it's definitely necessary so I'm going to just grab some oops my glue so we're going to put the berries on here and so I just could pick them up it's so much easier leaving them on there when they stay on there. Whoops. And then we got um, this one you can't barely see where it is so I'm just going to put one here and down here. See what I mean about these little, so I say sometimes the enamel dots will work better. And they give dimension too, but these are so pretty. It's, it's worth the patience that you need to put them on. And let's, we got three more here. But don't they make it, the little berries on there? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love these, the foliage from this Magical Meadows. It's just so pretty. All right, I'm grabbing this Real Red and Burlap Ribbon, and I'm going to make a bow. I'm just going to make a small bow here. And we're going to cut the ends here. I didn't get my ribbon scissors. I hope I can. These sometimes got glue on them and they don't like to cut. Okay, let's cut this one a little bit shorter. I have to grab my ribbon scissors, y'all. These just do not do the trick. There we go. I'm going to grab a glue dot again. Gonna put that right there at the top. And then, last but not least, we are putting our star on. Love the gold in the star. And then I really, really wanted to put the, I wasn't gonna use these other ones. And then I thought, oh, it'd be so pretty with the extra gold in there. And then we're gonna put one over here, the little one. Right there. 
there you have it y'all look at how cute this box I'm going to tell you how how uh, wide it is because it's two inches wide so it's really cute but look at them Our, oops we don't mess up my star here there we go look at them aren't they sweet I hope you enjoy these. I think they'd be super cute as table settings. Any way that you want to use them um, would be fun. You can even make an ornament out of it. Maybe um, attach a ribbon to the top here. Um, there's so much. Oh, they're wanting to get married over here. There we go. <laughs> there you have it. If you need any supplies and you'd like to place an order, this is my October host code. It's a free gift with purchase this month. So if you place an order, I will be sending you a free gift, which is going to be a pack of embe uh, embellishments. So you can shop on my blog at Stamping with Amore. Uh, thank you all for watching. Have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.